there's a delay, but there, there just is. Okay. So, what do I start with? So it's, just C. C. it's not C, people. C it's a CL. That, that does make a difference because C has four dots and CL has seven. Seven. Okay, so. Shh. Okay, I'm starting with my center atom and it has seven valence electrons. I'll explain it like I would if you were asking questions or didn't know what to do, okay? Um, I'm assuming at this point, at least if you're watching the video later, that you know how to get the seven dots. If not, then that's a whole nother, that should be a whole nother video. Um, I'm having to put three oxygens around it. So the first one can go here where there's an open space is the first thing that I would do. And oops, I got carried away. I, put, I didn't mean to put two dots right there. So I just need one, okay? All right, now, I can't make any more single bonds because if I cover up that oxygen, chlorine looks like it has eight. It's happy, it's met the octet rule. So if I can't make any more single bonds, while ago I told you I couldn't make any more double or triple either. Well, but I can't make double or triple. I can't make any more traditional bonds. I can make coordinate covalent. So the rest of my oxygens are going to have to go somewhere around the chlorine and I'm going to have to shift the electrons together so that they're not spread out like I spread them out on the first one. And if I put my other two on, that's two coordinate covalent bonds. Why? Because both of the bonding electrons come from this chlorine. That's why they're blue. And none of them come from the oxygen. And then if I cover up each one of them, that oxygen has eight. Well, I'm, I'm checking them all, though. The, the chlorine in the middle, if I kind of cover up everything, has eight. Um, this oxygen down here at the bottom has eight. And when I get to this one, yeah, I've still got a problem. John's saying it's not got eight. No, it doesn't. Exactly. It's got a negative one charge, which means it gets an electron from somewhere else. So that negative one means I can just draw another dot on there and it gives it a negative one charge. Okay. On this next one, uh, SO4 two negative. What goes in the middle? Well, you have two things, the S and the O, but I can't put them both in the middle. Put the S in the middle. the four of the Which means it's going to go around it. Yep. So here we go. Here's my S. Every sulfur has six valence electrons. Okay. Here's one oxygen. I go for the free spaces. There's an open space right there. There's another open space over here where there's just one dot. So put another oxygen here. All right. At this point, and this one looks kind of crappy up there. There we go. At this point, there's eight on the sulfur. I cannot make any more traditional single bonds because if I do, it'll give the sulfur too many. If I can't make single, I can't make double or triple. But I can make coordinate covalent. And so I can put one oxygen here and I can put one oxygen here and make two coordinate covalent bonds, both, both bonding electrons coming from sulfur. And if I, if I stop to do my double check, that one has eight. That one has seven. The bottom one has, whoops, eight. And then the right one has seven. Well, I'm short two electrons, but it has a two minus charge. So I get to put one there and one there from a cation of something. Okay, my last one is nitrate, NO3. N's going to go first. N has five dots. And there's, there's three open spaces, one on the right, one on the bottom, and one on the left, and that's where I should put them first. I shouldn't automatically start making coordinate covalent bonds. I need to make regular single bonds first. Well, 
Um, if I look at it for a minute. Oh, good job. Bryce, what are you doing? Nice. Well, you can pick them up in a minute. Okay, you can pick them up in a minute. Um, if, I, if I look at this. Uh, no, listen. Listen. If I look at this right now, the only thing on here that's happy is the nitrogen. Okay, this is the only thing that has eight. If I look at the oxygen, it's got how many, John? Seven. The bottom one has seven. The right one has seven. And I stop and look at my charge. I only have a charge of negative one. I cannot. Well, but wait. Okay, I mean, I know you're, you're thinking ahead, but I cannot add three. I can only add one. I mean, I can fix, even if you want to go ahead and do that, fine. I can fix this one. But I still, it still leaves me with a problem over here. And nitrogen, I can't, I can't just take, I'm going to draw on this one because it's not going to be right. I can't take this electron and like throw it in the middle and take this one and throw it in the middle. Because it will give nitrogen more than eight. Nitrogen's already got eight. Something else I've not seen anybody in here do, but you are on a roll with color pencils. You know, so if anybody watches this later, you know, if, if you're absent or, I guess, the general viewing oh, public, uh, yeah, Nate keeps dropping all his color pencils and kicking them all over the floor. It's for you, Bryce. Um, now, <laughs> um, so I have seen, I have seen students do this in the past. I've seen people try to make bonds between the two oxygens. Like, can I just put this one with that one and make like a double bond between these two? And the answer to that is. No, you can't, okay? I'm going to come on down here below on the paper. We had the same dilemma over here on this one that we're having now. And when I have that dilemma, the only thing for me to do is to kind of fall back to the idea of doing the oxygens like this and seeing if maybe I could make some coordinate covalent bonds that might turn into doubles or something. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to redraw my nitrogen. And I'm sure there's people sitting here in this class that are still having trouble with some of these, not just people who are absent. But you may have to draw it a couple of times in order to actually get it. So my suggestion would be this. I would go ahead and put this oxygen that I know I can fix by adding the extra electron. I would put it back on. And I would go ahead and add that extra electron from something back onto it because that fixes that one the next thing that I would do is I would take these two blue dots that are right here and I would put them together like that right yeah. okay well go ahead and put an oxygen on it with a coordinate covalent and then I can put another oxygen this time I'm putting it on the top last time I put it on the bottom I can't put it on the bottom this time can I with no dots down there okay now look here here's where I'm at take stock of things I've got my three oxygens back on it I've got my extra electron added in my problem now is if I check for eight um, every oxygen has eight except my my nitrogen doesn't. Well, say what, April? Yeah, if you know, I could do it with any of them. Doesn't matter. I could take any. I could take this pair and throw them in, or a pair off of this one and throw it in, or I could even take a pair off of this one and throw it in. So I'm gonna redraw again. So there's my nitrogen. Here's the only one that's not causing me any issues over here on the left. And I'm just going to put this one up top, regular. And then the one on the right, I'm going to swing in like this pair inside to make a double line. I'm going to go back at the end and I'm going to put my negative one charge on it. 
because it gained that one electron we've been carrying along the whole way. Here's a reminder too, if you don't have colored pencils, why couldn't I draw it this way? Like here's my nitrogen. I'll draw it with open circles. Here's an oxygen with darkened circles. And then here's my extra electron with the X. You could still at least track with which ones came from where.